I fell twice in the last year. I, I uh, fell a year ago, it was October, and I was stepping sideways and just, my, just kept going. I ran right into a wall, hit this right in here. As we age, intuitive movements like standing and walking may become more difficult, and that's why seniors like Hank are stepping up to the Stepping On program. Stepping On program is a seven-week evidence-based fall prevention program that's really very much based on group dynamics, group interaction, seniors speaking with one another, seniors speaking with the leader and sharing stories and sharing experiences and teaching one another. Well, falls is a huge problem. That's the number one admitting diagnosis in emergency rooms all over the country for seniors. And the number one reason that seniors lose their um, their ability to live independently. Though Hank is very fit and works out almost every day at his local Y, with falls it can take just one misstep. That's why he came to the Stepping On program to improve his balance. Fellow Stepping On program participant Rita has gotten more confident about her walking from things she's learned from the classes. I do find the program is good because as I aged, I feel a little uneasy about walking. So I decided to take this course, which I'm grateful for. It's making me aware of uh, pitfalls, you know, when you're walking. Uh, I was one for jumping around and it sounds silly, but I'd be looking for a tree, <laughs> a car, make my walk closer to a car so I can hang on, or a person. <laughs> you know, it's just so nice to hear um, the seniors say how they have become just, it, just so much more aware of how they are getting about, how they are managing in their homes, how they are walking around in community. Those over 60, 65, uh, the incidence of falling is quite prevalent. I think they say it's like one in three that may have a fall each year. And we always know that as people who are in that age bracket fall, that their risk for injury is greater than somebody who is younger. Some things that seniors should be mindful of to help them avoid falls are everyday household items. We provide them with a list of um, home hazards to really go around and take a look at the things that are there that might be um, hazardous. One of the greatest things is um, these scatter rugs that are in the homes. Um, people's management of bathroom safety. We have just so many slips in the shower. And, um, and the other thing is probably the outdoors, you know, the, um, the snow, the rain, and how really best to manage those different situations. And probably yet another thing I should mention is um, trying to get everybody off of those step ladders because that, that also creates a lot, of, um, a lot of injuries. People tend to have wires, you know, running all along the front of the couch, all along the kitchen because they are plugging things in to outlets that are far away. So learning to be able to bundle those wires and being able to wrap them with a little bit of a Velcro or today in the class we were just talking about covering those wires with a little plastic tube and these things are just so easy to get in any of the local hardware stores any of the local um, drug stores carry so many of these home remedies. Another thing seniors may need to take a look at are their shoes. And for women especially everybody just doesn't even think about the, um, the slip-on slipper and how unsafe that is. We always encourage everybody to have a closed-in slipper. Sometimes medications such as sleep aids, antihistamines, and anti-anxiety pills can cause some seniors to become unsteady. We do uh, spend one whole session with a pharmacist coming to speak to the group about um, reviewing their medications, making sure that on their annual visit to the doctor they have their list, they're going over what they're taking. We likewise always ask and suggest that everybody, if they have a near miss or they have a fall, that they report that to their doctor because that would be a heads up to really take a look at the medications. Using a source of light at night and creating a safer space in the shower is also critical. One of the things that they do when they age in place is they become so familiar with their environment that they don't feel the need at night to turn on a night light or turn on a bathroom light, that they just feel that they know everything because they've been living in their home so long. One of the most important things is in the shower, they should have grab bars on the walls, definitely grab bars on the walls, and a mat, a non-slip mat, that sticks very tightly to the bottom of the, of the bathtub or the shower and when they come out that they shouldn't step on a tile floor without some kind of a, a non-slip 
or non-skid rug. Ray Smith from the Health System Center for Emergency Medical Services teaches the seniors about being aware of their environment. So I talk about going out into the community and crossing streets, you know, traveling through parking lots, you know, what are some of the aspects of uh, safety that they need to consider. Well, I think the, the most important one is that they don't rush. Many times there's cracks in the sidewalks, stepping off a curb, something simple like that, you know, where if they're not paying attention or planning ahead, you know, watching where they're walking, um, they could end up, you know, Falling. Probably to some good tactics you should employ is working, maybe walking with a group of people, maybe uh, staying close to close to the cars and making sure that people see you. You know, and making sure that you get eye contact from the drivers. Ray also addresses whether seniors need a personal response system. If you're home alone, then that's probably you're probably a good candidate. If you have a hard time getting around, you're probably a good candidate for, for one of these devices. It, you know, if you've ever had an episode where you've fallen and you haven't been able to get up, certainly that's a, a reason to get a personal emergency response system. One of the, the difficult problems is that people won't wear their emergency response system sometimes, their PERS device, in the shower, but they're all, almost all essentially waterproof. So it's, it's, that's a mistake that people need to understand that if they have a personal emergency response system, they need to wear it in the shower so, God forbid, they fall. We're learning what to wear, not to wear things that might, you might catch on, learning how to um, walk, especially on a curb, and I think I've gained confidence. Many wanted to repeat the program this time. It's a pleasure to be on the side of making people safer rather than caring for people as they have broken their hip and broken their shoulders. You know, this, this, is, this is much more satisfying. <laughs> Hank is feeling much more confident and hopes he will not experience another fall. I think it's fabulous. I'm very, um, what should I say, um, determined. And so, I, I, while we're walking down uh, Stop and Shop down the aisles and my wife's pushing the cart, I'm doing the exercises that we're taught here. I'm doing one foot in front of the other and balancing more and, and the sidestep exercise that we're doing down the aisle. So I'm working out as I'm, as I'm shopping. Make sure you feel the back of that chair and sit back on down.